For anyone out there who's in the YouTube game, you know that channel management can really, really be rough sometimes. Creating constant content to keep a subscriber base engaged while managing SEO and fighting what seems like a constantly shifting algorithm that more often than not seems determined to keep your channel growth buried by not alerting your subscriber base to all of your newest content. <clears throat> it's tough out there for a YouTube PIMP, but thanks to some recent insight, we may now know why. What's going on guys, TBL here, and today we're going to be talking a bit about some of the behind the scenes work with YouTube live notifications, and why you may not be reaching the subscribers that you should be. So let's just go ahead and dive on into it. For a long time now, I have seen extremely diminishing returns on viewership in relation to my channel's sub count. Put simply, despite my mid-sized channel, a lot of people don't actually watch or even see my videos when they go live. Now, this has been a crazy phenomenon for quite some time now, and I constantly get messages from people saying that they've either been quietly unsubbed from the channel, or that they never get updates for when videos or streams go live. And hey, it's not just me. This sort of thing has been happening all across YouTube for what seems like an eternity. Seriously, even if you're just a normal YouTube viewer, you're not really somebody who uploads content, I'm sure you could go to your sub box right now and pick out a couple channels you probably think you haven't heard from in a while, and if you go to their channel, you'll see they've been uploading constantly, you just haven't been getting any notifications for it. I know that certainly happens to me on the regular. But now, it's not really crazy for a channel to not see active engagement from the majority of its fan base. Actually, it's quite the opposite. On average, you see about 10% of your subscribers actively watch the videos that you put out. And of course, that number grows as your subscriber base does as well. But sometime within the last year or so, that metric feels like it changed drastically. Viewership has plummeted while the number of people telling me they no longer get any sort of notification of my content has skyrocketed in return. And this same story again can be seen across plenty of YouTube channels, and if you're a frequent YouTube viewer, chances are you've experienced it yourself. It just kind of seems like YouTube isn't notifying large portions of my channel's audience of any new content. Which is something worrisome, but when I've brought it up with YouTube partner support, they've basically denied any such occurrence. Well then. Recently on YouTube's Creator Insider vlog series, they had a few of the YouTube Live devs talking specifically about how they manage notifications for subscribers. And this is what they had to say. <laughs> okay, so again, uh, we get questions all the time about how do live notifications work. Tell us the nitty gritty details here. Sure, so uh, when your fans subscribe to your channel, they see a little bell next to it, and if they hit that bell, or we, or we say ring the bell, uh, then they get a notification as soon as you go live, every time you go live. So definitely make sure to ask your, your viewers to ring that bell. Um, if they don't ring the bell and they're just subscribers, then we put them in a occasional notification state. So that means that they get algorithmically determined notifications. Mouthful there, but what it really just yeah, what means... Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, that, well, what that really just means is that your most active subscribers, so users who are watching your channel and your live streams uh, are going to get notifications as soon as you go live. Uh, we also send notifications to, to users who aren't your subscribers, but they also watch your content very actively and we think they'll be interested in, in watching your live stream, so we send them notifications as well. And then finally, uh, reminders are a key. So if you schedule your live stream in advance, uh, we, we show that to your viewers and they can set a reminder. If they set a reminder, they get notified to tune into your live stream before it even starts. And then we send them another notification as soon as it starts so that uh, to make sure that they can uh, see your live stream. Okay, so um, to summarize, because I get asked this all the time. Um, YouTube, do you notify all of my subscribers every single time I go live? We don't notify all of your subscribers, right? We notify all of your subscribers who have rung the bell and then your most active subscribers after that. Okay, so we try to notify um, the people who we believe would be most likely to tune in and watch your content. That's right. While it's live. That's right. While not necessarily overwhelming and spamming um, all of your subscribers with these, these notifications. That's right. That makes sense to me. So, did you get all that? Essentially, it seems like the algorithm recommends notifications to people who hit that subscriber bell, and then the most active subs, those folks who get on YouTube all the time. They do not, and I repeat, do not notify the entirety of your subscriber base. 
So if you're somebody who doesn't spend a lot of time on YouTube and you haven't hit a channel's notification bell, it's kind of a total crapshoot as to whether or not you'll be alerted to their latest content. The algorithm essentially seems to be picking and choosing who in your subscriber base gets notified of your videos based on what it thinks they'd be most interested in. So those people who get on YouTube every day come and specifically seek out your channel. Uh, those are the people who are going to be getting notified whenever you put videos up. For me, a good example would be 402 Thunder. I love that dude. He's my absolute favorite COD commentator, maybe my favorite game commentator of all time. I get on YouTube every single day and go to his channel looking for his new content. So it makes sense that I would get notified of his stuff. But to sort of contrast that point, again, with just a personal example from me, Drifter, another fantastic Call of Duty guy. He's much more on the analytical side of things, giving you hard numbers and whatnot. I don't get up and watch his videos every single day like I do with Thunder, but I still love his content. I'm sub to him, and I want to see his uh, big content when it comes out. I never get notified for Drifter videos. Like, the last thing I saw was a Fortnite video, and I had to specifically go to his channel because I just thought to myself one day, hmm, haven't heard anything from Drifter for a while. You'd think he'd be all over these new Call of Duty World War II patch notes and whatnot. And it turned out I had missed like 15 videos from the guy. That's essentially what's going on here. We're getting served content based on what the algorithm thinks we should be watching, rather than simply giving us content based on the channels that we're subscribed to. Which honestly seems kind of backwards to me. If I sub to a channel, it means I want to see their content. Not that I want YouTube to determine what parts of their content I want to see. And of course, they go on in that clip to say that they do this to cut down on spam and unwanted content in a sub feed. But if there's a channel that I don't want to see any more of, if like a channel spamming it up with a bunch of crap that I don't want to see, I just unsub from them. It's as simple as that. Some would argue that's what the entirety of the subscribe button is for. And this system they've got in place right now with this algorithm, I, I think it's pretty easy to see that this can cause a lot of problems in, in relation to my channel. If you're someone who doesn't watch a lot of Destiny content or a lot of Call of Duty content or a lot of Monster Hunter World content, but you're subbed to me because, I don't know, maybe you like my personality or something, you, you like seeing the stuff on my channel. But if you're not watching a lot of Destiny content, you might not get notified of my newest videos because my channel is very heavily, you know, related to Destiny and whatnot. And that's, you know, that, that's kind of a crappy overall system to have. Now, to be perfectly fair, the developers in this video were talking about notifications in relation to live content on the platform, so stuff like uh, YouTube gaming and whatnot. This discussion was in relation to live streams on YouTube. But truthfully, there's really no reason to believe that this system in place isn't also used for basic video uploads as well. And it would explain why there's such an astonishingly large difference between a channel's base subscriber count and their active per video viewership. It also explains why people who don't tune into YouTube often but have favored channels for when they do watch always generally tell me that they never get notified of when new content goes live and end up missing some of those videos and live streams entirely. Now, of course, this doesn't account for every discrepancy with YouTube right now. There's still certainly an ongoing mass sub purge going on with plenty of channels, especially gaming related ones being uh, affected by that. There's also the whole hidden restricted mode thing going on with YouTube. And of course, this doesn't mean that every video with low views on my channel is some insidious plot by YouTube and not just people being disinterested in certain content like Destiny. There's certainly, there's certainly a large group of people out there who no longer care about that game. But at the same time, it's clumsy, algorithmic stuff like this that can really hinder the growth of a small channel, if not stop it entirely. I mean, personally, I was stuck at 33,000 subs for over seven months despite constant uploads and viewer engagement because a large portion of my audience just wasn't being shown anything. And basically, stuff like this, where an algorithm on YouTube side is making the determination of who among your sub base is really interested in your content. I, I really don't think that's the best way to handle this sort of thing. Having this system to pick and choose who to notify, if that truly is going on with base uploads like it is uh, seemingly with live notifications. But having this sort of system in place where an algorithm determines who gets to see your stuff, who gets notified, who it thinks is interested in your content, that, that, that seems to kind of nullify the entire point of a subscriber button. And I mean, sure, not everyone wants to see all of the content from every channel they're subscribed to. But in the end of the day, I think leaving that in the hands of the people who chose to subscribe in the first place, rather than an algorithm telling us what we want to see, is probably, I don't know, maybe a, a better option, but who knows?
Maybe that's just me being crazy. But all right, Guardians, that is going to be it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If this is something you've noticed in your own experience with YouTube, you know, maybe a channel that you used to watch all the time that you're no longer being notified of when they post videos, be sure to let me know you guys' experience down in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to that video down in the comment section below if you want to go check out any of the other stuff they talk about. I'm very happy that they make these sorts of things so that we can learn a little bit of how YouTube works on the, uh, the back end. If nothing else, it gives me something else to complain about. But that's it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. Oh, and <laughs> hit the notification bell if you know you actually want to hear from me. You know? Otherwise, you can leave it to the YouTube algorithm to determine whether or not you're actually interested in the content that you're looking at on YouTube. Ah, <sighs> aren't machines wonderful? But I'm out for now. As always, I am the Black Link. Guardians, stay frosty.